Hey, this is Sasha, and in today's video, what I want to do is share with you how you can generate a large list of keywords to use for search engine optimization, ideas, brainstorming for your articles, for your videos, uh, just to generate a lot of different keywords. You might be looking to hit a few keywords in certain niches, areas, or maybe just get some ideas to write new content. So it's a good way to do that is to look at some suggestion tools or other content that's created. And of course, if you're focused on search engine optimization, researching keywords is a great way to get insight into the competition and how competitive things are, especially if you're concerned about your rankings. So what I wanna do in here is just share with you a few tools that you could use to just brainstorm and get some ideas and concepts to that. Um, if you want, you can also look at my uh, analyzing the competition video, which has a few extra or additional tools, which I'll link right below this video. Uh, but otherwise, let's take a look at some of these keyword tools just so you can get the juices flowing in your mind and seeing some other variations to the keywords. All right, so the first tool that I want to share with you is it's a legacy tool. It's really the Google AdWords keyword tool. Uh, so if you're in Google AdWords and you have an account, you can just go to the tool at the very top and go to, let's say, Keyword Planner. So once you've clicked this link, you'll see you have a few options in the Keyword Planner. You can go ahead and search for new keywords using a phrase, website, or category, get search volume and data trends, or a multiply keyword list to get new words. So let's just hit the first one and see what happens. Uh, so you enter a keyword here, and let's just say I'm looking to do videos or filming. And uh, in that case, let's just say uh, wedding videography. Okay, so let's say that's kind of what I'm looking for. And let's just say I get some ideas. So now when I hit that button and I get some ideas, you'll see that there's some search history and traffic that goes along with, with this keyword. Now the search keyword, the wedding videos that I put out right here, it tells you the average monthly searches, 60,500. Low competition, but you're bidding about 2.63. Now keep in mind, Google is always going to look at pay per click because that's how they make their money. So what you could do is continue to search through some of the other suggested keywords here that I have wedding films, videographer for weddings, best wedding videos, video for weddings. So these are just some other terms people are searching for. Now, the other thing to think about is, of course, location based. So if you have a location based, let's say wedding videography in Tampa, Florida, and I get some ideas. And now let's see what happens here. So as I hit ideas, you can see right there, average monthly search is only about 110, but the suggested bid is $4.45. So you can see the more specific we got on this, actually the more expensive it got. And that is simply because this is how uh, the consumer or the regular person is targeting uh, this niche or demographic. So again, Tampa video, Tampa, wedding videographer, Tampa videographers. So you could browse keywords and get ideas this way and then just simply copy these or download the ideas into an Excel sheet. You can also take a look at um, ad group ideas. So when you're on this page right here, there's a button. Uh, it's a little bit less noticeable, but you could hit ad group ideas. And now you can see this is based on a group. So do you want wedding photography? because now you get into the photography keyword section, um, or do you want more videographers or more wedding videographers? So let's say I go and click this link. Now you get cheap wedding videographer, New Jersey wedding videographer, Toronto, affordable wedding videographer. So it, you can see that there's a variety of um, keywords here that can be created. Now, this is just one tool that you can use uh, just to get some ideas. I don't think it's probably my favorite tool to get ideas. There's a few other tools that I like. So when I look at some tools, here's keywordtool.io. So if I go into wedding videography and I do a search, notice that on this tool, I can use Google, YouTube, Bing, Amazon, and you can see here, it gives you some ideas and insights about 337 unique keywords. It's a nice, simple list. That's kind of all I want. So now it might give me ideas to create articles about prices or things near me or contracts, how to fill out a contract, different songs, um, you know, packages, tips. Um, so there's a lot of different um, types of content now that I can create from this. Now, some of them are geographical based. Uh, but others are, you know, it could be the camera, the cameras wedding videographers use. 
you know, so there's a lot of things right there. Um, I could also do the same thing on YouTube. So if I hit the YouTube button here at the top, uh, it'll give me some other uh, things like wedding videography tutorial 2016, songs, tips, uh, gear, uh, Texas school, you know, so there could be looking for schools uh, for wedding videography, audio, um, you know, so business, so background music and country and camera, commercial, California. Um, so there's a lot of different uh, uh, suggestions here that you could find just from this page. And I like this tool a lot better than the Google tool simply because it's a nice list. Now, if you want to pay for the tool, you can get more search volume um, and see how what the search volume is. That's also could be handy if you're more into that. Otherwise, you know, if you're looking to make articles and get, get gives you ideas, this is just a nice way to generate a list. Uh, wordstream.com is also another uh, nice one where if I search for wedding uh, videographers right here and I do a search, it'll take a little bit of a moment here, but you can see here we get a few search results. And again, the, vol the volume on the search and competition is blocked out because they want you to uh, pay for the service. Uh, but of course, they're pulling this from the Google search anyway. Okay, so wedding videographers, Cape Town, professional wedding videographers, that's from South Africa. Wedding videographers, Cape Town, I'm not sure why they're doing Cape Town. Wedding videographers, Las Vegas wedding videographers, Destin, Chicago. So you can see they're city based here, but the ideas on this, you know, they're not as good as the other one, and in my opinion, but it's another way to look at keywords. And finally, the last one is this word uh, or this website. It's called KW Finder, which allows you to find long tail keywords with low SEO competition. And again, if I look for a wedding videography or a wedding videographers, it takes a quick moment to generate the results. But you can see here on the left, what it's doing is it's generating some of those results right above my head. Um, and it'll give you some search factors. Let me move this a little bit over for you. So now that you can see, here we have wedding videographers and you can see the search volume right there. Average monthly search, cost per click, pay per click. So again, you got videographers, wedding, video, wedding photography, uh, wedding cinematography, videographers for wedding, best wedding videos, wedding photography, and videography. So you can see there's also a lot of different searches here. Uh, you also have cinematography, wedding video, um, and those searches. So again, giving you ideas of what's possible. Now, if you click this link right here, there's like a little button right there. Let me zoom in onto it and see if that'll help a little bit. So right there, if you see that little button and you click that button, it'll take you to the related keywords. So if I'm doing wedding films, I might say, oh, let me take and explore more wedding films. What you'll get is a list of wedding films. Sorry about that, I had to log into the account. In either case, um, again, it'll give you some more keywords and suggestions right there. So it's up to you really which tool you use or which tool you like. I mean, each one has its pluses and minuses. Uh, again, really comes down to your personal needs. But if you're looking for some brainstorming ideas, there's a, there's a handful of tools out there to give you some insights to creating a large list. And what you can do is take these lists, uh, whichever list you want, and just go ahead and copy them. You know, you take it, you copy them, and you put them into Excel, into Word, into a notepad file, generate your own list back it up and slowly start building out your content or looking and studying those keywords, phrases, and terms. So there you go. I hope you got some insight at how you can generate a massive list of keywords. It's all just about using a couple of tools, takes a few minutes to generate a list. And as you dig deeper into some of these tools, you know, you'll find a tool that you might like. And once you like that tool, you find one primary keyword and you build on it. So for example, if we're doing wedding videography, you can see there's tutorial. And if you're teaching wedding videography, you could say wedding video tutorial. Okay, so you could start there and start building on this list. And then you search for that. So now you have cinematic wedding video tutorial or After Effects wedding video tutorial. So do you make more training videos about using After Effects and about 
uh, creating those effects within wedding videos or how to edit wedding videos, again, that is totally up to you. But this creates a list and it's a starting point to where you can uh, be a spider and dig deeper, just like the robots do when they crawl your search engines. Once you have this list created, of course, you can do whatever you want with it, whether that's analyzing those keywords, who's ranking at the top for those keywords and phrases, and where you personally rank for those keywords and phrases, or use them just as a list to generate ideas for blog posts, content, video content, and other forms and factors. So in either case, thanks again for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see some of the exclusive training videos that I have along with some of the live classes, then click the link right here. And when you get there, enter your name and email address, and I'll send you newsletters as those live classes are coming up or new exclusive training is released. So click the button and get signed up. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.